Welcome back, everyone. So, the plan for today is to start a new GT4 randomizer run. We've been on our first run for quite a while, and it's gotten a little bit boring. Uh, so, I figured let's start a new one, but uh, with a twist this time around. So, this time, we are going to craft together a bingo sheet with a whole bunch of stuff that we're gonna add later on. And the goal is to get a bingo. And the moment I get a bingo, the stream ends. We're done. The, the run is finished. We're done. We're not gonna continue it any further. But in order to do that, we obviously need to fill the bingo sheet with some objectives or whatever you want to call it, right? But we basically have to fill this bingo sheet. Now there's an extra line here on the sign for landmines, which I thought is kind of fun. So we can come up with stuff that would be extraordinarily rare. Like getting a Formula Gran Turismo, for example, right? Like, or, or like one of these like one one time only cars. They are so extremely rare that if I do get them, I owe you guys 10 gifted subs. Just to make it a little bit more interesting, okay? But we also have to consider what we uh, put into like the main spots here. Yeah, this is something we, we should we should do first. And I figured we do that together because usually when it comes to this stuff, you guys have much better ideas than I do. So um, what should we add here? Okay, any concept car is a good one. That doesn't seem too far-fetched. Duplicate? Okay, yeah, that's a good one too, yeah. Got a duplicate. Oh boy. I think it's it's fairly inevitable we'll get at some at least one duplicate at some point, so yeah. A shitbox from a license test. Uh, let's let's make it get a shitbox from a hard race. And we can also do the opposite. From something easy, we get something overpowered. Like, you know, getting an LMP car from a Sunday Cup. Got an OP car from easy slash short race. Got a JGTC car. Okay, that's fair. Getting an overrated car. That, that's just asking for arguments, man. Getting a region-appropriate car from a region-based event. That's a good idea. There we go. Got a car fitting to regional event. We can play around with amounts. With less than 5k credits. And then we can also say, okay, got a car worth more than, let's say, 500k. Fitting cars for one make race. Free 1960 car. Get a sports truck and get a K car, because those are usually kind of difficult to get, right? Got a DTM car. Korean car. Dutch. Australian? Swedish. Get a car that has more than 30 characters in its name. Rally car does seem fairly reasonable. Get a car that has less than 80 horsepower and got a car that has more than 800. Seven cars of the same brand. Get a convertible. Got a car from every major region. Europe, US, and Japan. But there we go. So we can now, we can now think of more landmines. This way you can just go ahead. Formula GT? Okay, let's, let's add got a midget. Let's at least add the Nike. Every generation of Skyline. Got every gen of Miata, yeah. There's only two Miata gens? Ah, yeah, you're right, dude. This game, this game is old. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I kind of forgot. Got two sports trucks. Getting one is already hard enough. A lot of people that played this mod gave up because they never got a sports truck. Let's add the Scudo to it. Tanker is kind of funny. All right. I think that's, think that's good enough. So we got, we got our bingo sheet right here with some landmines. Shit that's so rare that uh, if I do get it, I'll throw 10 gift tips into the chat. I'll save this and then upload it and make a comment so you guys can always always check this one. I'll upload it to Imager. That way you can always check it yourself. So, about time we get started. Back at it again. What's the seat? The seat is just bingo this time. It doesn't actually matter what I make the seat, right? Like what the what the name is. It does not matter really. But this time, this time it's just bingo as you can see up here. Okay, I think the first thing I'll do is skip the licenses because I don't want to do the licenses and that way we get just more prize cards from the start. Okay. So I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna I can use the in-game cheats, right? The in-game cheats, they only work if you... Um, if you hit day 100... No. If you hit one year, basically. So I have to do the licenses. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, 300, 350... Uh, 365. Okay, that's fine. All right, all right, all right, all right, that's fine, that's fine. Then uh, let's do it, I guess. Winning a hybrid one, good one? Yeah, that's true. Winning a hybrid could have been fun. Shit, so close. I was hoping, I was hoping for a first try gold in this run, but... We we're really close. Oh, 
Could I use cheats to skip the days? Um, I could exploit things to skip forward, yeah. I could like just repeatedly enter the um, the license a bunch of times. But that would probably take us like half an hour. Yeah, I'm once again just doing price car only. Of course. Anything else just wouldn't be fun. Unless I'm like hard stuck, then obviously I'll buy something instead of just restarting the playthrough. Okay. I should be pretty quick at this by now though. Got a car fitting for a regional event? So basically if I enter an American event, I get an American car. Right, like you have these regional events, European, Japanese, and American. And that one basically means if I get something that is also American from an American event of that sort. We could have also extended it to all events, right? Like just got a fitting car in general. So a front-wheel drive car from a front-wheel drive event, for example. Oops, that means to redo that. Soft lock being a landmine. <laughs> Actually, not a bad idea. Soft lock could have been a fun, a fun landmine. A Taz. Dude, you know what would be great? B spec in these licenses. <laughs> I think the B-Spec driver is probably not fast enough to get anything better than bronze, but, uh, you know, I would take it, man. I would use it. I've been- oh, today I've been- I've been good. Uh, I've had some pain in my leg for the last two plus weeks. But it's been- it's been going away, so I've been feeling better. Get a car you can only get rid of. I think it already applies to the concept, right? I mean, it, maybe it also applies to more than just concepts. But I feel like with any concept car, you get that kind of like transfers over, so you kind of get like two at once. Own a car with unconventional doors. That could have been fun too. Like butterfly doors, scissor doors, or whatever. Yeah, it was odd, Harvey, and I thought about going to a doctor, and I almost did, but, um... Yeah, it started to get better, so I'm like, eh, you know. Fuck it. Now I just want to go to um, a barber for the first time in seven months. <laughs> okay, let's try to at least shoot for all silver so we get two price cars. Two price cars for the price of one. That would be neat. Damn it. I'm not gonna attempt to start tearing my hair out to get all silvers though. I think at that point we're better off just doing regular, regular events. Do I like Pringles? Who doesn't? All oh, gold's a bust. Alright. Ending the stream tomorrow then. Is that good? No, that was not good. Good enough for a silver, at least. Let's go for all silvers, get some runs. Actually, I won't be doing all silvers. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't mind if I got a bronze on these, like, shorter ones, but on the, if, you, if I get a bronze on the full lap, then I'm like, fuck this, dude.
If I get if I get a bronze on these like full lap events, then I'm like, man, forget it, man. That was pretty good. No, it wasn't. <laughs> good enough, good enough for silver though. It's good enough for silver, it's good enough for me. Yeah, there's no convertible, guys. We can cross it off the list. <laughs> Pog. So far, I only got one bronze, but I think this might be a bronze. This was not good. Yep. I'm just gonna do every license once, or every, every test once, and then we'll, then we'll see how much I left off. At this time, we're just gonna skip entirely for the first time, actually. Let's not waste any time here. And then, depending how many how many I forgore, I'll decide if I want to go for all servers or not. Are my graphics so smooth? Well, I think you want to check this out. That way, uh, you can uh, get it to look the same. Alright, let's go. My problem with this event is always that um, I way overestimate this car. Like I think it can go just a little bit faster, but then no, <laughs> it doesn't. License fails at the corkscrew. Wouldn't be me. Cut over a little bit. But wasn't bad enough to fail the test. Okay, let's see how, let's see how that was. I don't think it was too bad. Okay, it was very slow here. Especially here in the last corner, you don't want to be slow. You want to be, you want to be fast. Oh, we still hit it. Let's go, first gold. That felt good, aside from that last corner, but it wasn't too bad. So that bingo challenge would be a hundred percent run. I mean, I can end the challenge whenever I want to. It's just when I when I complete it. The stream ends. <laughs> that's that's just how it is, you know. If we do get a bingo, it's over. We're not gonna go back to the seats. We're done. Alright. I'm actually surprised I managed to get a first try silver there. That one, that one usually takes me at least two attempts. Okay, well, seriously, not good. Unsurprisingly, only a bronze. Okay, 
Now we got we got three bronze so far. Unfortunately, one of it is a full lap. But I'd say at this point it's still worth going for silvers and, and redoing them. It doesn't take that much time. Oh, it was actually close. That really did feel slow. What was that? Oh baby, that was actually very close to a gold already. <laughs> oh, not bad. All right, sure, I'll take it, man. That would've been sick, dude. That one's actually tough, man. The one with the, the one with the infinity is actually tough. Yeah, exactly. If we if we get something that fits to the bingo sheet, we're gonna cross it off. And if we get any line across the sheet, then it's a bingo. Like regular regular bingo rules just apply. If I get a PT Cruiser for free, would I still take it? You mean in real life? Yeah, I mean, of course. Just to sell it again. <laughs> Just to sell it off again. It's free money you're basically offered there. I wouldn't drive it because I couldn't. I don't have a driver's license, so what I want with, what I want with the vehicle. So yeah, of course I would take it, so I could just sell it on eBay and make like a quick, I don't know, like, depending on the... Depending on the condition, like 1k or 2k maybe. I'm not sure how much these are worth nowadays. It's like, hey, do you want free money? Yes or no? <laughs> Honestly, Genstick, if the price is right, anyone will buy anything. Seriously. If you buy a good car, as one that's fairly sizable like this, in good condition for a good price, then people will always buy it. People don't care. There's always people that just don't really give a shit. And they just buy stuff because it's a good deal. Don't fail. Fuck. I always, I always underestimate this corner, man. I do every fucking time, man. It's such a common mistake I make, though. You don't hate this car? Uh, for a while this was actually my mom's favorite car. I don't know why. But she's not a car person, so... I guess it sort of makes sense. Because car big uh, can carry a lot of groceries. Maybe. Let's try not to make the same mistake again. I think this lap was slightly faster than the previous one. For what it's worth. Now you have to break a lot more than you think in that corner there. Is the, the, the understeer will kill you. It will 100% kill you. That was much better. I 
Honestly, besides that last corner, that felt really good. Is it gold? No, I don't think so. Ah, but it's gonna be close! Ah, it was a gold actually, never mind. Damn, let's go! PT Cruiser God right here, man. That also felt pretty good. But this is this is hard to gold, I remember. This is actually really hard to get what? It wasn't even a silver, okay. Could have sworn that felt pretty good. Okay, let's retry it right away then, that way we have our ghost. Because I do think we're gonna go for all servers, considering we only missed like what three or four. Why was this so bad though? Here? I mean, it wasn't much better this time around. Ah, too much drift. I think I had the right idea there. Yeah, for sure. I had the right idea. Okay, that should be good enough for silver. Gold seems hard, man. Okay. Think, think with that, we got our first prize card, chat. We got our first prize card. Let's see if we can cross something off the bingo sheet already. So... It is. Wait, no, that's bad. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> wait, no, that's bad. <laughs> okay, wait. Does this count as anything? What the fuck is that, dude? I don't remember this either. Is, is this anything? Is this anything? You guys got the you guys got the bingo sheet as well. Less than eighty break horsepower. I think it has more. But let's see. Hold on. We got one of the cars of all time. It has one hundred eighty six. Actually, damn. Check sell value. Okay. It sells for less than 5,000 credits, which is like, kind of insane, actually. That is, that is, I think, our first... Do we have it here? Yeah, got a, got a car worth less than 5,000 credits. <laughs> right, okay, hold on. Let me, let me cross it off. Let me, let me do it properly. There we go. So we got a car. It's actually worth less than... <laughs> Wait, that's more. Wait, this is the wrong one. There we go. There we go. Got our first cross. Is this anything else though? I don't think so. I don't think it is. I think that's it. Yeah, it's, it's how much they sell for. This one, this one sells for less than 5k. Like it says value, right? Value equals what they're worth. At least in my book. Well, fuck me. <laughs> okay, let's go back into the license center and, and get golds everywhere. Uh, not go fuck no. Um, get silvers everywhere. Let's not get golds. Jesus Christ, man. 
That would be uh, awful. Some sort of program in Japan marketed towards younger people. Huh. Okay. So I need to be a bit faster here. I should manage to get a bronze here. Oh, that was bad. Went way too wide. And that's fair. Gotta do it again. That's fine. It wasn't a good start anyways. That once again felt really slow. It's it's really hard to be fast with this car for some reason. I'm not sure why. There's just something about the Mini that feels weird to me, that I just can't quite get used to. But let's see. Silver shouldn't be that difficult. You just have to try a little bit harder. Ah, I made still so much. Okay, let's see how this was. I honestly don't think this was a great lap. In fact, it was pretty shite. Let's see, maybe it was good enough for Silva? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. There you go. Now I just have to do two short ones. Don't think that's that's gonna be that difficult. Nope, not like this. Not like this. Okay, I felt better. I think that's it. Ooh, in fact, it was a gold. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Guess we're going for all golds after all, Chad. <laughs> no. Hell no. Okay, this I this I always found kind of weird. Oh, that was good. Oh, okay. What is wrong with me, dude? Holy shit! What is wrong with me, dude? Flo, thank you for the five gifted. Okay, stop. We got another prize come. I think. Do we get it immediately? Okay, what do we get? Is that good? <laughs> we got two massive nothing burger cars, dude. Skyline Sedan. Yeah, for anyone who, who was who kept saying, oh, edit title for four doors sedan. Yeah, I literally got it. Literally my second car. This is, real, this is why I didn't want to edit. But I don't think this counts as anything. So thanks for the five gifted again, by the way. Isn't this a one make event car? We can put it in a one make event, yeah. Uh, wait, this thing has 258 horsepower? Holy fuck, dude. 
How much is it worth? Not that much, actually. It's not even worth that much. But I think it's a good starter car. I think we can use this as a starter car. It's actually kind of nice. Got a car fitting for one make event. No, 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 no. That's not what it means. That's not what it means. Okay. So here, this, this doesn't mean that we have a car that qualifies in a one make event. That tile means that we, when we do a one make event, we get a car that would fit to the one make event. Either because it would qualify for the same event, or because it's just kind of like appropriate. Right? That's what it means. Like, it also means saying got a car fitting for regional event doesn't mean... It doesn't mean that the car we got can qualify for a regional event. What this means... Oops. What this here means is basically just, Hey, I entered an American event and I got an American car. That means I got a car fitting to that regional event. In the same vein that this means, Hey, I entered a Skyline race and I got some sort of Skyline back. So it fits. Did that make sense? I think I explained it pretty well. If you don't get it from my explanation, um, go to school. <laughs> it's hard. The thing is, it's not... I mean, it might be. It might be. Maybe we should have made that a landmine instead. I don't know. I guess we'll see. If you pre-order games, you probably won't understand it. <laughs> Okay, so let's let's first set up this car and remove the um, oops, remove the assists. Uh... So let's get this ready. Do it. Does it even need any upgrades? I think this car should fairly easily do the uh, oops, should fairly easily do the um, Sunday Cup on its own. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, of course, uh, of course we're using a new seat. We're using, we're using a new nickname for the randomizer. I think I'm gonna keep the will around. I mean, I can sell it, but it's not even worth that much. Okay, let's just jump into the Sunday Cup. This thing should- actually, this thing should smash it, man. What cars can you get in the beginning that have 200, over 250 horsepower, man? It's actually quite a beast. It doesn't even look that fast, if I'm being honest. It doesn't even look that fast. But it just is. Give it like a weight reduction or two and god damn. Actually pretty powerful. First car. I gotta say the, the rear looks like ass. If I'm being perfectly honest with y'all. Uh, like I'm not a fan of the looks from the rear. It just looks like a bastardized G35. That's fine. All it needs to do is just carry us through the early game. Oh god. And then we'll be fine. Yeah, the front is fine. I think. But the rear just looks off, you know. It's like, a, it's like a G35 from Wish. It's like a GTA car. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Well, it's, it's really powerful for the beginning, actually. So I'd say, you know what, it was worth getting the servers. I would say getting the servers was, was totally worth it, man. Driving park. Wonderful. I mean, what would you usually have without the randomizer? You would get the uh, Lupo from all bronze and then the Kusabi, which you couldn't even use, and yeah. This thing is definitely <laughs> beating the Lupo by a mile. 
That's a really spongy suspension though. But so surprisingly grippy, despite everything. Wasabi, yeah, dude. It's not called. It's not called wasabi. Wasabi is a. Uh... Actually, does wasabi count as sauce? Is wasabi a sauce, or what? What, what is it? What does it count? It's kind of like mustard. Condiment? Yeah, I guess so. Well, actually, I think we might even lap. We might even lap the opponents here. Hold up. Nah, maybe not. It's gonna be too close. I think. Actually, a Fiat can't corner. Maybe we did, I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit of a photo finish. I'm not sure if I lapped him. It was it was really close. I think I was just like a few inches off. It wasn't that easy to tell. Remember, reminds you of a polar bear. Yeah, I guess I can see that. Like a very vague outline of a polar bear. Now nah, the music is looping. <laughs> I can change the music if you don't like it. Let's see what do we have? Toyota one before looks like a default hatchback from Saints Row. <laughs> it looks fake, man. It doesn't even look like a Toyota to me, honestly. Am I complaining about the look of what the G30... No. Wait. Okay, let's get something straight. Is the G35 based off this car? Or is this car based off the G35? Either way, I think the G35 is better looking. G35 is based off that, okay. Okay, gotcha. Now they made that one look a little better. I said, it just looks kind of weird. Like, oddly rounded, but also not really. The exhaust is just kind of sticking out there. It is, for whatever reason, super massive. I'm not sure what that outline around the badges is about. Like, why that, e why that is even there.
handle for the trunk. Yeah, I'd assume the same, but it looks very, it looks very odd. It is very odd looking. Yeah, I mean the front also doesn't look as good, but I think I think I'm okay with the front. Like the front looks a lot a lot more similar. Looks like a stepped on frog. Okay, that's a that's a very weird comparison to make. I can't I can't say I see the same. Uh, this car is really good though, despite everything. Like, we have not added a single upgrade to this thing. It's just that good. On its own. Very grippy too. I go to a JDM fanboy and tell them this is a skyline. <laughs> They're gonna try to cancel you. So there's one thing I, I just thought about that I could do. And that's to put the bingo sheet permanently on the screen. Is that something I should do? I think I think I'd have to make it fairly big. So it can still fit. I mean there's still some space on the on the left side of the screen, right? I'm not sure if it's still readable. But that way the sheet would always be visible to you guys. Without the landmines. Yeah, I can I can just cut out the, the actual the actual tiles. Want to block my vision? I can edit for you guys. Like I also don't see my face cam on the screen here. I just see the game. I can give it a try. Thing is I, I can't make it too big, otherwise it's distracting for you guys as well, right? Above my head here? I don't know. I was thinking about squeezing it between the map and the uh, rest of the HUD. I'll, I'll give it a try after the race. You'll make a collective decision. Okay, that seems fair. Meatloaf, thanks for the share, man. I'm bored. Don't mind me smile. Oh, good. Thank you, dude. Yeah, I was also thinking the text probably gonna be too small, but uh, we could try it out. Alright, there we go. Actually, we have one lap. Never mind. Most of the races in the Sunday Cup are two laps, so... <laughs> kind of thought this was two laps as well. Alright, there we go, GG's. 
So what's the first one, or like the first actual price cut from the first event going to be? Let's see. Maybe, maybe we can uh, add another cross to the to the sheet. Let's see. Okay. This one might qualify for the 30 characters. We have one, one tile here. Got a car with more than 30 characters in its name. I think that's long enough. Spaces count to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This is over 30 characters. <laughs> you can you can count the exact amount. Actually, you can't even count the exact amount because most of, it's so long. It's a name so fucking long. It's hidden behind the face cam. Subaru Impreza Sedan WRX STI version. Opening parenthesis, GD, comma, type dash one, closing parenthesis, OO. What a name, Subaru. What a name. Master, master of car names, dude. That is, that is definitely another one. Dude, why does it not save the size? Come on, man. Alright, there. Dude, we are, we actually only need a concept car. Dude, we can actually get a super easy bingo here. We can get a super easy bingo here. Look at this. We only need a concept car. Which is probably fairly easy. Considering how many concept cars there are in this game. And then we only need a car from every major region. Which is also fairly easy. We actually might get a really easy bingo here. <laughs> without even getting anything else. Like without, without getting any crosses anywhere else. Just a straight line. Uh, Flo, yeah, do it, do it. Thank you. This might be, this might be the easiest bingo of all time. <laughs> okay, I think, I think we might wanna, we might wanna switch to the, um, Impreza, no? Yeah, Impreza is even faster. And it's also kinda nice. I like it. So we're gonna swap to this one. Oil change? I mean, you can do an oil change. The thing is, you don't get that much horsepower from price cars or new cars if you do an oil change. It's not like it's not like from the used cars, you know. And besides, it's not like it's not like this car is slow, right? It's not like this car needs performance right now. But you know what, I'm gonna do it anyways. Dude, we only need we only need two more. Like I can't believe I can't believe we got through this. I was kind of worried that a few a few of the tiles were a bit too specific. Right? And let's be real, they are. Let's do this, this here. But actually I think we might get a very quick bingo here. We might, we might get a really, really quick, quick bingo here. Um, Pog? Okay. So let's, let's speed it up. I think we can do this without upgrades. I think this should be doable. We wanted this stream to go on forever. I mean, we can we can do this with another seat and change up some tiles. This is the first time we're doing anything like a bingo, but we can we can do more in the future. It was, a, it was just an idea that I picked up from Doc Doc, and I was like, oh, it's actually kind of cool. I kind of want to do my own thing with this, you know? Because I think it does these fairly regularly. Okay, this car slaps. This car really slaps on stock, Jesus Christ.
Now the car is that fast. I'm not in two times speed. <laughs> I am surprised though, because there are other Impressors in this race. I am surprised we have the fastest one, it seems. Not sure what's up with this car. I'm sure if Dog Dog is into Grand Tourism, probably not. Maybe eventually I can ask him myself. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna do some quick completions with this thing. Since we have a skyline and an impreza, we can also do uh, the one make events for each. Not sure how long they are. I think the one for the skyline is fairly long. We also have not done any of the special condition events. Uh, the first batch should easily be doable with these cars. What about a car from the year I was born? That's actually a really good one. That's actually a really good tile. If we ever do this again, I think that's gonna that's gonna be a tile. That's actually not bad. Bingo card generators where you can randomize tiles from a pool of options. I wasn't aware of that. I, I, we kind of just made it ourselves. But it might exist. That would actually be kind of nice. Because then it also randomizes the placements, right? Which obviously also makes a difference. But it's just like a prototype idea that I had and I just kind of wanted to try it out. We can obviously come back to this uh, at some point in the future and make some adjustments and optimizations. Win a car that qualifies for K-Cup that isn't actually a K-Car. Okay, I think you can be more specific with this, right? I think you you would you could just write um, win a car that's less than 3.5 meters long and isn't a K car. Dano, got something to share as well. Thank Donating you. Donating this while a stream isn't finished, Lamal. Have fun, everyone. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the share. That's a that's a banger, man. Thank you. I mean, banger is not the right word. It's a vibe. Get a car I've set in in real life. I haven't set in that many cars. What cars have I set in before? So the ones that my parents had, which was a VW Passat. Mark IV Golf, Scirocco. What else did I set in? My mom's cars, which was a... Ford car? Ford street car, but that isn't in the game. Peugeot 407 CC, I think. And then a bunch of cars I probably only set in once. Maybe someone else was driving. Song from Mass Effect 2, of course. I think since I played Mass Effect before play before I played the classic NFS, I actually associate this song more with uh, Mass Effect myself. Oh shit, Yiffy. Thanks for two gifted subs, thank you. Much appreciated. It actually took me a while to get to the classic Need for Speed. I think I played them in 2020. Roundabout. And also only on PC, I never checked out the different versions. Rio C? I'm not sure what the exact model name is of the car my mom is driving. It is a convertible. That's all I know. For sure, convertible. This thing is really good, dude. It's a really good starter car, man. <laughs> There's something you can absolutely not get in the beginning of the game. I think the fastest car you can get in the beginning of the game is the... Um, what was it? The Lancer? Right? The Lancer Evo. Gen 1. From one of the used car dealers. I think this one beats it easily.
Get a card that technically qualifies for an event but can't be used because it's a concept. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna make a, um, a channel on Discord if we're gonna go back to this so you guys can just stockpile ideas. And still I cut the track. Kata M7. I don't think I ever saw it. I don't think I ever saw a Kata M7. In this game. Didn't even know Kata M was part of the game. But I mean, I guess that's what the randomizer is for, right? That you... Find cars that you didn't even know exist in this game. What if we get a car with a pre-installed wing that can be swapped out for a new wing? What about it? <laughs> should that be a should should that be a tile? Or why are you mentioning it? Get an UU car. Yeah, okay. Whatever that means. Miata, I guess. Get a car that has a major role in initial D. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could just widen it up, just... Get a car that appeared in initial D, or get a car that appeared in Wanga Midnight, or get a car that appeared in XYZ. Get a car that appeared in a movie. I mean, we got pretty close with this one, I guess. Baby driver. Not the right gen, not the right color, but close enough. This appeared in Subaru. I mean that meme. <laughs> Get a rally. I mean, fair. I, I think it was. I don't think it was this exact one, though. But it was white. So the color, the color matches up. My break is early. Also, gotta be honest, white Subarus, or rather white Impressas, are kind of nice. LPN is driving, um, I think it was a blob eye. Yeah, blob eye Impreza in white. It looks pretty sick. I think it's a nice color in general, for these things. Okay, so you think you could make a bingo game out of Gran Turismo 7 as well? <laughs> I 
Because I'm, I'm always thinking about, okay, well, if I play GT7 on stream at some point, I want to make something interesting out of it. And I just can't come up with anything because the game is just so restrictive. With what you can and can't do. So I'm always, I'm always open to ideas what I could even do with that game. Not enough RNG in that game. I mean, I think there's plenty of RNG in that game with the price tickets. <laughs> yeah, flow exactly. Get the lowest, uh, get the lowest amount of uh, credits in the price tickets. Easy. Multiplayer with chats. Yeah, I think I think multiplayer is generally the the most fun you can have in that game. Maybe setting up a few challenge races or whatever. Yeah, it's probably the most amount of fun you can have in that one now, yeah, in that game. It's just you can't treat that game the same as GT4 or the other ones. Plays to different strengths. Without <laughs> getting annoyed. Now, the thing is, like, uh, you know, when I if I ever want to stream GT7, I have to invest into a PlayStation 5. And it's just really hard to justify that if I don't have any cool ideas. I don't want to just play the game casually. Like, there's thousands of people who have done that before me. I have nothing, uh, nothing of interest to add, I think. So I want to do something cool if I ever do. I need to be something really cool. Cool enough that it justifies, like, a 600 euro purchase. Exactly, there's just no replay value with GT7. And that's a, that's a problem because I think a lot of what I do on the channel relies on replay value. Like challenge runs or just fun stuff like today, you know? Just random shit. Like I just can't do live service games. I don't, I don't usually play live service games in my free time either. Which is not something I'm super into, so I have a hard time kind of coming up with anything to do for a stream. GD Sport would be better? Maybe, yeah. I mean, in GD Sport you kind of have like a, a more traditional story, more traditional single player mode, yeah. That is very much true. Can't delete GD7, save data. I mean, what you can do if you have a physical copy is you just create another PSN an account, you know. You just create another PlayStation account. Pop in the game again and then you basically start over. You'd have to create a whole bunch of throwaway emails. <laughs> if you want to keep doing that consistently, but yeah, it is, it is possible, I think. A coca track? For me this looks more like a, an assault rifle to be honest. Or a gun with like a fairly large stock. That's always what I see this as. It looks more like a gun to me. Yeah exactly, it looks like a Tommy gun. Or a farmer's maybe. That's always how I see it. Yeah, flow exactly. I mean, this is like r mostly like specific to the randomizer what we added now. But you can also just make a general one for the game, right?
<laughs> if you cut this part here, then it might be a cock. Very thin one, but yes. Yeah, you can you can use all the HD texture mods with the um, online version that you need for the randomizer. You just have to rename a bunch of um, codes and numbers, etc. Like usually, you need to create a folder for the texture packs to work, and you can just rename that folder to match the actual game ID of the uh, online version of this game. And yeah, it just loads. There's no issues. Doesn't doesn't present any new issues. It's effectively it's the same game. Yeah, same goes for patches. I mean, okay, I'm not sure how true that is, but yeah. A new price card. Let's hope. Let's hope that it's a concept car. That would mean we could cross another one off the list. So let's see. What do we got this time? Oh shit, dude, we're getting good cars. It's a good car actually. And... And it's EU. So we're actually one step closer to getting, or to, to having one car from every region. Now we just need an American car. Next time we get an American car, then we can we can cross that one off the list too. Pog. Main car, main car razor chat. We got main car razor. In fact, it might also be faster than the um, Impreza. Yeah, dude, <laughs> we just got continuously faster cars so far. Like we start with the world, 186 horsepower, which isn't even, isn't even that bad. And we had the Skyline with 258. Now the Impreza with 328, one. And now we have the M3 with 375. Like we, we're constantly climbing up in speed. Nice. It's the main car from that Need for Speed game, guys. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> awesome, dude. That's actually really nice. Actually, can you add a spoiler on this one? Like, if we're gonna keep climbing up with horsepower, we can also cross off the 800 horsepower plus thing. So what looks most like the um, spoiler from Most Wanted? It was fairly straight. It was like, it was like this, wasn't it? Yeah, I know it's the street version. Shut up, man. You don't have to be like... You don't have to go like all nerd on me, man. We know. I think I'm gonna go with this one, though. Also, we're gonna make it uh, silver. Because I think it was silver. Now it's, now it's close enough. It's close enough. No, that almost has 4 horsepower now that I changed oil. Jesus Christ. Now that one we cannot put into the rear-wheel drive championship, which is kind of nice. That is very nice, actually. And that one we're gonna smash. Smash! Do 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 do. Okay, let's go. I think the spoiler looks pretty good on it, actually. I think the one in... on the race version... is mounted more towards the center. And is more straight. That's a nice variation, I think. Especially, it works better for the street version, I think. Well, bingo, did I cross out so far? Only two. We, we had two... 
tiles crossed out for um, what was it er earning a car that's worth less than 5,000 credits and then <laughs> a car with a name that has more than 30 characters So all in all, in all it has been uh, very successful Especially they're all in, a, in the same diagonal line and they make use of the free space Like they're all in the center diagonally, so we literally only need two more tile two more tiles, which seem fairly easy too Like we only need a concept car and we need an American car then it's a bingo already <laughs> It's be funny because that means we actually got no no nonsense What car was that? It was actually with more than 30. No, did I say less? With more than 30 characters. Uh, it was the Impreza we were just now using. That one, that one had more than 30 characters. It was a huge name. It was so long the, the name was kind of cut off on stream because it was behind the face cam. Yeah, dude, if we get an American concept car. Okay, you know what? I'll count that as a spontaneous landmine. If we get an American concept car, I'll count that as a landmine because that means we get an instant bingo. <laughs> that, let's count that as a as an extra landmine now. Because why not? Yeah, we haven't gotten a landmine yet. Yeah, my seats are always rigged, man. Like, just my, my normal randomizer seat for just playing through the game sort of casually was also insane. This one isn't as insane. Like, it's not like I got a fucking LMP car from the Sunday Cup here. But uh, it's still really good. Like, we actually only got good cars. I'd say even the, the Toyota Will was fairly decent to start off with. So, I like, it wasn't bad. Yeah, this car's really good. Unsurprisingly. So far I haven't even uh, I haven't even upgraded a single car. Like it's just The cars we've been getting are so good I, I didn't even need to apply a single upgrade. The song is from Guilty Gear. I didn't play it, but um I like the song. Yeah, dude, okay, if we get in if we get the Nike 2022 That is that is both <laughs> Both tiles and a landmine and then an extra landmine because I said American concepts is, is spontaneous landmine But let's see how it goes. Get a one-to-one -one GT meme car. I'm not sure how colors behave in this randomizer. I'd have to I'd have to ask the mod creators What's even possible like I know I know they already confirmed that you can't get a pink vitz. It's not possible So I'm not sure about a yellow evo <laughs> I did the wing so it's upgraded. I didn't even increase the downforce like the wing actually does nothing at the moment Like buying a wing in of itself doesn't actually do anything you have to you have to increase the Downforce in the tuning menu. Oh, it does practically nothing. Maybe, maybe a little bit, but practically nothing.
Ah, it's a bit too much. Looked smooth for a while. Just for style points. Yeah, basically. We just added it for style. And that's all. Song sounds like Japanese Nickelback. I think the instrumentation is too good to be uh, compared to Nickelback. The composition. And these have been easy. You gotta love it. It's not a one point race though. Although there are some pretty fast cars in this event too, like the SL, SL500 here. Like considering this is a fairly early game event, it doesn't give you much money. You have to come up with a pretty good car for this. Which is fairly surprising. Yeah, earlier, earlier um, I think it was in the Seattle race. I'm not sure which one it was, but there was a Mercedes in there that was really fast. It was it was really far ahead of the opponents. I think it may have been the uh, SL65. I don't remember. Was that still a K compressor? Could have been, yeah. As I said, I don't remember, but it was really fast. Oh god, monkey. <laughs> Finally, someone uses the AI voices. Let's hear it. <laughs> Finally! Someone is using them! <laughs> Thanks, monkey. <laughs> the James May one is really good, actually. Oh, that was really good. I'm not sure if I can, I can make them louder. Because I think it was a bit quiet, but I think the problem is with the AI voices, the volume is a bit all over the place. Like, some of the other AI voices are way louder. Yeah, yeah, it's bits, it's bits. You have to do it how, how Monkey did it. So it's minimum 100 bits, just to prevent spam and shit. Um, and you have to start your message with the voice and then like two dots. Like the person is saying it. Like exactly how he did it in the message. I'm not sure, do I have a command for bits? An explanation? I don't think, I don't think I do. But sometimes it scrolls through the chat. There! 
There, I just triggered it. <laughs> For a second, I thought it was good timing, but no, you just you just, just use the command. But there you go. Now you can you can use Meta, Michael DeSanta, Scott the Walls, Gordon Ramsay, James May, oh, basically the Tokyo crew. Linus Tech Tips, most critical. I think there's like dozens more, but I wanted to just add those to the command so you know which ones to pick. Interesting color for this crossfire here. Like a violet. Ah, oh, fuck. Get distracted. Linus. That one was really funny. Oh, here's the voice AI. Uh, look at the chat, was just posted. Basically, you wanna drop at least 100 bits and then start your message with the character code, like just like I wrote it in the command. And then two dots and then uh, the rest of your message. You have to do a segue to the sponsor <laughs> if you use the Linus, the Linus voice, yeah. True. Or you have to do a kind of shell the merch in some kind of way. <laughs> the $80 screwdriver, man. However much it is. And you have to drop something, yep. Also true. I'm not sure you can just do that with an AI voice though. Alright, god, we have another one. So, thanks. Usually it takes a while to come through because it has, it has to be generated first. But thank you. <laughs> the Dustin. <laughs> Two meters fifty. I don't think I'm that tall. Actually, how tall is the biggest person on Earth? Didn't work out that well. Yeah, sometimes you have to kind of play around with... Um, if, if you want the tone right... Sometimes you have to play around with commas and exclamation marks, etc. Now, it takes that into account. I'm not gonna do that. And my random my randomizer seats are definitely rigged. Yeah, honestly, it's really fun, especially like the thing is with bits. I think bits are super useless um, as is on Twitch. So I, I was looking for ways to give bits more meaning, especially since you know you can just donate via stream elements if you want to donate a song, which is already like worth a, worth something, you know. So I figured you can probably do fun stuff with AI voices. Best guy I've gotten until now? This. Main car razor. Okay, I think we have one more. That's such a cramped track, man, honestly. This one worked really well in Tool's Trophy, though, when we played it the other day. But here... I don't know, with six cars on the track. It can be a little bit cramped. No idea what it's here, anyways. Who knows? This looks like Tsukuba if you folded it over itself. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Yeah, the songs are looping. I've set it up that way. 
The song ends when I when I say it ends. Okay, when I get sick of it. Like I have streams where I control the songs myself, and then I have streams where I just let the playlist run. Today's one of the streams where I want to control the music myself, so I can choose and pick and pick and choose songs based on the situation. And those cases, yeah, they loop. But it's not as much of a god seed as my as my first one. And to be honest, I think you're gonna have a hard time fighting finding a more insane god seed than the than the first one I had. I don't think there's any any way you could be more lucky. A 300 horsepower Jaguar from just getting all bronze on B, on the B license. And then an LMP car from the Sunday Cup. That, like, that's already like max. And then you also just get all the cars that you need to even get to the GT World Championship. And you get K cars, you get a sports truck, you get everything that you need. Alright. So new price come. Let's see. Let's see what it'll be this time. Let's see. We need a concept car. A concept car would be Pog. All right, and it is. Oops. What? <laughs> wait! It's US! Wait, 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 wait. Dude, how do I keep getting these god seeds, man? How the fuck do I keep getting these god seeds? I literally just said it's impossible to get a god seed. And to be honest, it's not as crazy, but holy fuck! How do I keep getting these god seeds? Yeah, that's a new that's a US car. We got everything now. We got Japanese cars, BMW is European, and Panos now here. That, that is record time, by the way! <laughs> that is actually record time! It took us no time to get one car from every, every nation. What the hell, man? That is, that is record time. What the actual hell? Yeah, look at this, man. GG. Now I just need a concept car. Next time I get a concept car, the run is over. How, how is this so perfect? How is this so perfect? <laughs> is the Panos over 500k? Good question. We can, we can look at the other ones. This one has... Uh, yeah, okay. It's almost a million. It's almost a million. Not sure if you saw. But yeah, it, it's, it's almost a million. So we can cross something else off the list. So where, where was it? Got a car worth more than 500k, boom. Dude, we're filling this up record time. I actually had some, some worries that we're not gonna be able to fill this up quickly enough. But damn, man. I haven't had a single landmine yet, so thankfully. <laughs> Does it also qualify for OP car from Easy Short Rise? Absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. You are absolutely correct. This is absolutely an OP car from a, like from a beginner event. That is absolutely, that absolutely qualifies. No discussion there. A stipulation if you sell the car, you have to remove the cross from the bingo. No, 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 no. More than 800 horsepower. Oh, good question. Let me see. How much does it have? Can I see it? 
Not quite. 742. I mean, we can change the oil. To see uh, if an oil change gets it to 800, but I don't think so. I think it's just gonna be short of 800 horsepower. Let's see. I don't think it's gonna be enough though. Nah, just short. 779. I mean, that would have been crazy, dude. Crossing off three tiles at once with one car. That would have been actually insane. Damn. <laughs> How do I keep getting this lucky? I can't keep getting away with it, man. Okay, yeah. Dude, next time I get a concept car, it's over, chat. And there are a lot of concept cars in this game. I just want to point that out. There is an absolute fuck ton of concept cars in this game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's use it. Why not? Let's use it. He can't keep getting away with it! All right. So what do we do with the panels? Where can we put this thing? I think we can put it into a professional event already. I mean, we can easily clap the clubman cup. I think this is an A. Oh yeah, we need to get we need to get rid of the race tires. So we need to get rid of the racing tires, unfortunately. So instead of doing our first upgrade, we're starting with a downgrade, which is really funny. <laughs> I guess this is probably the first playthrough I've ever done where I actually had to downgrade a car instead of upgrading it in the beginning. Which is kind of insane. Yeah, the first randomizer of the run is still coming to YouTube. We're not we're not forgetting about any of it. Um I try not to buy cars, but um if it's necessary I will. Dude, it cost me my, my whole fucking salary here, dude. Yeah, no buying allowed unless soft locked, exactly. It's not it's not like the main challenge, like the first time around, where it was really like me trying not to buy anything. Uh but yeah. Uh, let's do the Clubman Cup first. Which is probably gonna be so damn easy. But uh yeah, this <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a great fun chat. Let's see, how, let's see how fucking powerful this thing is. I remember using this car in Gran Turismo 3. Because in Gran Turismo 3, it's one of the fastest cars that you can buy in the dealership. Right? And it might actually be the most expensive car in Gran Turismo 3's dealership. So this thing should be pretty bananas. The problem is, you know, we equipped sports tires, which is a bit unfortunate. But regardless, this is still more than good enough. This is this is way more than good enough. To be honest, Chad, do you think this car could beat the GT World Championship? I think we got a we got a game winning car here once again. I think with sufficient upgrades, it's gonna be tough. It's not gonna be as easy as when I had the R8, but um, I think it might be doable if you fully maxed it out. It's it's gonna be bad on the tires, yeah. But honestly, it should be should be good enough. So once again, got a game-winning car here. Can we look how much HP we can add later? Sure.
<laughs> Man, look how crazy. <laughs> look how insane the hood, uh, like the roof cam looks. Look at this. You can see so much of the car. Is that the front is really long? The front of the car is really long. It's a very long boy. Yeah, if you have tryptophobia, then uh, you're not gonna like this livery. <laughs> That's true. Ah, oh, shit. I don't drive a car, era. I'm fine with public transports. Indeed, I don't, I don't got a license. Well, um, sports tires are definitely uh, nerfing the car pretty hard, unfortunately. Yeah, exactly. Like, you just don't need a car as a streamer. Like, well, generally as someone who works from home. You don't really need it. It's just a massive money pit. If I if I ever get my uh, get my license and a car, it's just gonna be for... Uh, hobby purposes. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a very expensive hobby. And right now I'd rather invest my money on other, in other things. Oh, this car's great. For sure. This is something you wouldn't drive all the all that much. Because it's generally not a car you, you, you see too often, you know. How am I gonna buy foods from the grocery store? My grocery store is literally two minutes away. And even then, you know what's you know what's kinda shameful to admit? My grocery is so here, like it's, it's like two minutes by foot. If anything, if anything. Probably less than two minutes, and I still use an app to get food delivered to me. <laughs> it's not even because I'm lazy, but it's because it still costs time. Like, it, it eats away like at least half an hour out of your day. Just, you know, taking care of groceries. I'm like, I could do other things for that half hour, so I'm gonna use uh, this, this app here. Which, I don't know, maybe it's a bit shameful for some, but I don't know, I don't really care. When was the last time that I touched grass? Uh, two months ago. <laughs> it, is, it is one downside, though, uh, when, you, when you have a job from home. Like, you really... Sometimes you have to force yourself to kind of go outside. And be like, okay, I should really, like, go outside now. I haven't really... Been outside in a while. It's not good for me. I don't wanna. I don't wanna be in inside for too long. It's easy to just kind of get caught up in whatever you're doing. Ah, oh, fuck. I love the pops and bangs from the sides. That looks really nice.
But next weekend I'm gonna touch some grass again. I'm gonna go to uh, Don't Cringe, an anime convention. <laughs> <clears throat> but seriously, if anyone is going to the Dokumi, or anyone that lives in Germany is going to the Dokumi uh, next week, uh, feel free to hit me up if you want to hang out or whatever with my first suit. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Gonna cosplay maid. And we're still gonna do that later the later this year. <laughs> I literally just said I go to an anime convention. Why are you guys making all of these assumptions that I'm gonna go there with a fursuit or some other fucking cosplay? <laughs> what the hell, man? Get your head out of the gutter, chat. Yeah, it's all just projection. It's all just projection. Keep your keep your shit to yourself, Chad. <laughs> Damn, man. Okay, so it should be uh, super quick. Although you were you were kind of on the money with the cosplay, though. I was preparing a cosplay for the last month or two. But it is not an anthropomorphic promorphic animal, you dumbasses. <laughs> it's something that's actually at a tailor shop right now because when I ordered it, it was way too baggy. So I had to get it tailored. GT guy cosplay. I mean, there's something, I, I, I guess that's something I can spoil uh, for the new YouTube video. So James actually um, got himself a handcrafted GT guy costume. And we kind of used that for the video this time around. I'm not gonna say anything else, but uh, it's something you can look forward to. And I asked him if he can make another one for me, and he said he'd be done. So I might be rocking a GT guy cosplay at some point in the future. It looks pretty good, actually. <laughs> Flow, good idea. <gasps> Yiffy, thanks for another gift sub. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, exactly. And then I then I just add some like actual drinkable, um, like actually something that's drinkable into the oil can, and then you just drink from it. <laughs> I'll come back for a fun cosplay. Um. Maybe maybe I'll rock that one for Gamescom or whatever. The thing is, um, for Gamescom this year, I actually plan to go um, for two days. One day just with friends looking around, uh, you know, just hanging out, looking at the convention, etc, etc. But then I actually had, had in mind to do another day for community meetups. I'm not sure how many people would be down. But something I had in mind. It's obviously more for the 
German crowd, although a lot of people also uh, travel from other countries to go to Gamescom. But yeah. I guess it depends how many people would be down. Okay, I think we can lap some opponents here. I think we can make it. Fuck out of here, it's a Brocky. You can't actually get a pink Vitz in the randomizer, it's not possible. Because it's not a, not a normal price come. Or car in general, I guess. Pink Vitz only exists in, uh, in GT3. How's the bingo going? We are literally one tile away from finishing this. <laughs> In absolute record time. Entire placement is rigged. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> we just kind of edit them one after another, you know. Like, I didn't place the, the tiles randomly. But even then, we got a diagonal line. Which kinda like goes against it. Goes against the, the idea that it could be rigged. Yeah, there aren't really a lot of child point rewards at the moment. The thing is, um, it gets harder and harder to manage channel point stuff the more people collect them, right? Like, the more people tune into a stream, the more people collect channel points. And the harder it becomes to manage. Like, I had a bunch of stuff before, which was like text-to-speech or sound effects, and it became a bit too spammy. At least for me. It became a bit too spammy. People were using it too much. So I need to come up with something that's a bit less obtrusive, but I, I don't have to like manage myself, you know, which is really hard to uh, really hard to figure out. Ah, yikes. I'm not sure what other streamers are using in terms of channel points. I think a lot, of, a lot of streamers actually don't have anything either. Like it's, I think Channel Points is really nice for smaller communities. Where you can actually do stuff that's a bit more personal or more involved. You know? I think that's the best use for Channel Points, but uh, yeah. When you have 200 people in the chat right now, collecting Channel Points, it gets a bit tricky. Monkey! Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks for another share. What is this? Yeah, true. You can do you can do comedy goals with channel points. That's actually something not a lot of streamers use. But I think that might be the best usage. Is that way I don't have to do something every single time someone claims something, right? And everyone can just contribute to something together.
Dude, we actually lapped the entire field this time. Jesus Christ. Minus one lap. And this time, this time the splits are working again, by the way. This time I, before I started the playthrough, I switched the um, clamping mode. So that this time splits are working. And the get ready to drive text um, also disappears. After the race starts. So I don't have to switch camera perspectives at the start of every race anymore. Which is pretty nice. Does that break the license test? No. I mean... Uh, I'm not sure if we were here earlier, but we were able to just do the licenses as is. It doesn't do that anymore. It used to. But not anymore. Modern, modern emulator versions, they don't fuck the licenses anymore. So you can just keep it on full now. Oh, is it a randomizer thing? I'm not sure. I didn't mind that it was just the newer emulator version that kind of fixed it. But don't quote me on that. Might also just be randomizer. Honestly, the more I drive this car, the more I am convinced you can absolutely beat the Gran Turismo World Championship with this thing. Like, this thing is currently not upgraded and actually has worse tires. This running sports tires instead of racing tires. And the more I drive it, the more I'm convinced you could absolutely, absolutely beat the GT World Series with this thing. It is, it is actually so fast. Like, right now, I feel like it's just lacking a bit of grip and low end acceleration. Or low speed acceleration, I suppose. What's LPL games? I've never heard this song before. Ah, League of Legends. Wait, is that LPL? Wait, I'm not, I'm not into a League of Legends, so I wouldn't know. Okay, back to bangers. <laughs> Back to bangers. Well, I think I will win from the Clubman Cup. We'll see. If it's a concept car, we're done. If it's a concept car, we are 100% done. So that would be nice. <laughs> that would've been, that would have that would have been so quick, man. Yeah, I really wouldn't have expected that it, that we'd be done this soon. I definitely expected this to take at least a couple of streams. Alright, GG's. So, let's see what it'll be. Ah! Let's see. Maybe this is the end already, chat. It's the end. It could also be a landmine, though. Could be anything. Let's see. Dude, what the hell is my luck, man? 
It says Sigma on the side. It says Sigma on the side. Yahoo Korea? <laughs> what the fuck? The Sigma car. It's the Sigma car chat. Sigma Lexus. Sigma Bau. I'm not sure what Bau means, but yeah. A Sigma on the, on the side. Wait. Does this, does this actually add anything to the bingo though? I, I actually don't think it does. I mean, let's see. It's actually really slow. What the fuck? How, wait, how does this thing only have 278 horsepower? Why does it, why does it have literally no horsepower? <laughs> wait. Okay, is the, is, does this do anything? Does it, is, is this a JGTC car? What, like, what is this? DTM? I don't think it's anything. It's the AS200 race car. I don't think this is anything, Chad. It's GT300, so G JGTC. Really? Let me, let me do some investigating. What is this again? IS200 GT1 race car. Okay. Lexus. IS200 GT race car. Remo 4? Probably. Let's let's do some let's do some research chat chat. Okay. Two thousand four BAT GT championship. That's all that's what one thing we can find out. BAT GT, I don't know what this is. But it seems British. But I don't I don't think this is anything though. But we can we can learn more about BT BAT GT championship. If this counts as JGT. Wait no. Baltic Touring Car Championship. Is that what it means? I see a bunch of British stuff here. Looks like this was part of the British Championship. <laughs> <laughs> what what is this dude? Let me find stuff out about the driver. Like this is the person who drove this thing. But I don't see any I don't see any hints for it's super GT. Right? What is it? I, I don't know if this is counts as JGT. See, I don't think it is. I guess this is a GT three hundred car. That's one thing we know. It's super GT. Oh, look at this. Hold on. Super GT used to be JGTC. Okay. <laughs> so this is a GT300 car, which is part of Super GT, which prior to 2005 was JGTC. It's South Korean. But if it participates, doesn't that make it? <laughs> Does that make it? If it's part of the same competition. Like I know the car is South Korean, it's driven by a South Korean person. But if you guys are if you guys are in disagreement. You know what I'll I'll let you pull it out. I'll let you I'll let you pull it out.
I'll let you pull it out then. But seems like you guys, you guys more lean towards no. Like, I have no idea what the fuck this car is, man. <laughs> I find no fucking conclusive evidence. Like, what the fuck is the BAT GT Championship? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Can we, the problem is you can't find anything out of in this in this either. But it seems South Korean. Right, that's why it says Yahoo Korea on the fucking car. <laughs> right? Right there, Yahoo Korea. Is the car in the Lexus dealer? Does it matter? I mean, look at the sheet again. I don't think this, this is anything here. If it's in the dealer, there's info about it. Ah, oh, okay. It's exclusive to the Korean version. Oh, okay, okay. In that case, we probably can't find it. But I don't think this is anything. Man, my entire OBS got fucked up. Jesus Christ. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I mean, Korea then? Nah, it's Korean version of the game. God, I'm so disoriented. I don't think we can find it here. Oh, never mind, there it is. Okay, how do I, how do I find info about this thing? Oh wait, description. For fuck's sake! <laughs> Alright, fine. It's just a nothing burger. Let's let's call it a nothing burger shit. Let's call it a nothing burger. Can we at least use this thing for anything? Maybe? I think for now we can stick with the Esperante. I think this may have been this may have been a bit of a nothing burger. Unfortunately. Cool car? Nice to have. But not really useful. Not really useful right now. I think we're just gonna... I think we're just gonna continue on. Great. That was a good time waster. Uh, Alright. If there is a Lexus one make race this thing can participate in, that would be good, yeah. Holy crap. I think we're safe. Yep. No, yeah, opponents are definitely much faster. Only production cars allowed, so it can participate. Oh, okay. I feel like I got this car in my regular randomizer run. So, uh, yeah, I think I tried that already. Oh, hell yeah, man. You know what? I'll, I'll turn that up for you, man. Grinder, thank you for the share. That's a banger. I need to add that to my, to my stream deck so I can play it. I want that song at my fingertips. It's 
But it's nice to have um, a region locked car. Honestly, I think I got a couple in my first randomizer on too. I actually do think that I got that particular Lexus too. It's not my first time getting it. But I think I had a couple others that were exclusive to the Korean version of the game or whatever. So that's kind of nice. I mean, that could have been a tile, right? A region exclusive car. That could have been in the tile. We could have gotten it. Can maybe uh, remember that for later. Or for another time, I guess. Better chat command with the GitHub GT4 setup. You mean this one? <laughs> there you go. Enjoy. Now, someone already said that the Lexus doesn't work for the Tetsu uh, race. I vaguely remember trying that in my first randomizer run. I vaguely remember trying that, and it didn't work. I mean, it's fine. It's not like it's not like we are running out of things to do at the moment. I was so was so good. To try it yourself, yeah. It's about what I thought. Right. <laughs> Number one. Yeah, these, these events also give us good money. So we're actually starting to earn, uh, earn some cash finally. Nice color on the TBR. Randomizer bingo? It's pinned at the top of the chat. Um, if you want, I can make a... I can send you an empty... Empty one if you want. So you can just kind of play it yourself. And add your own shit. If you want, I can make you a template. Like, I still have it open in, in GIMP. So you can just fill it out yourself. Ah, shit.
Um, one thing I could do is maybe add the uh, randomizer stuff to the uh, GT4 tutorial because it seems like a lot of people run into issues with um, applying the randomizer mod. So maybe maybe I should add that to the... I mean, I haven't actually updated the GT4 setup guide in ages, like ever since I made it, basically. There's a lot that I want to add, like also wheel setup. Is something that uh, I also wanted to add and do a bunch of changes here and there. I haven't really gotten to it yet. I mean, I, I messed up doing the randomizer patch as well. Like, you need to, need to like, manually add .iso at the end, or it doesn't really work. Like, the, the patch, the patcher doesn't really do that automatically. That's one thing that I messed up in the beginning. Zoom, zoom. You know, for this, I think I'm gonna use a uh, B-Spec. That race is too long for me. Too damn long. Let's see if we can do it with no skills. Yeah, definitely, man. Can you please pass that guy? What are you doing? Why can't you pass the Zonda? There you go. Well done. Well done, B Spec Bob. Well done. Special stage I'll do. I'll do again. That one's fun. Yeah, Zonda must have been defending like a god, dude. I don't mind Motegi, but that layout too, takes too long for me personally. Like the shorter layouts I'm okay with, but that one is just kinda like, ugh. What happened while you were gone? Retro's more age released. You just missed it. <laughs> no GT8. It's gonna take so long for that to come out. Like, they really want to squeeze out as much as possible from GT7. Like, I really don't think we're gonna see um, a Grand Tourist made until the next... Uh, until the next PlayStation generation. Truly, truly, truly... Uh, believe that GT7 is just gonna be their... life service pig... for a while.
I'm also really surprised how the tires aren't really wearing off that quickly. Now, even if I drive like a jackass, they're holding up pretty okay. Like we're still all in the green after lap three. Which is pretty neat. Alright, last one. Oh, try mountain, we haven't been there yet. Was that from uh, license tests, I suppose? Actually, even then, I don't think we've been here yet, no. Do <laughs> you guys want to see the jump? The chicken. Of course we'll do it. Of course we'll do it. Um, I don't really care about the new GT7 update. I mean, why would I care? I don't even have the game. <laughs> like, I honestly really don't care about the GT7 updates. I, I really don't. In my eyes, they, they don't add anything substantial to the game that makes me go, wow, now I have to buy the game. Like, oftentimes they even add more cars than actual playable events, which is pointless to me. Because then you just end up with cars that don't actually have any use. At which point it's like, okay, well, why... Why even bother updating the car, uh, updating the game and editing the car, you know? If it serves no purpose. It's like adding, it's like adding a gun to Counter-Strike that you just can't use. Other than in like single player with bot matches, I guess. Like what's the point actually? And that's the, that's the thing. That's why, even to this day, I'm not super interested in checking out GT7. Because they're not even adding anything interesting. Like, the actual playable content they add is, is basically non-existent. And they don't seem to make any significant additions or improvements to the online stuff either, so it's like... Alright, cool. <laughs> It's probably good for people that play the game actively, like for them it's good enough. But for people like me that just don't play the game and are waiting for an update to reel them in, it's just not enough, you know. Like Horizon at least had like these um, map expansions every 6 to 12 months, right? Took them a little longer this time around for the uh, um, expansion DLCs, but they they also felt bigger in general. Like the scope of them was a little bit bigger than usual. But at least with those, you know, it brought me back into the game, got me to play the expansion. Whether I like it or not was a different story, but it got me to play the game again because there was something to do. Can't really say the same for GT7. Like, even Unbound is getting at least some kind of playable content with its updates. Like how they recently added the, uh... I forgot what they call it. The link-up events, I think. Right? Like, it's just something new. It's like something new that you can play and interact with. Whether you like it or not, up to you. But it's just something to play with. You can't really say that about GT7. Like, maybe they had, like, three events that you could complete in, like, 20 minutes and then you're done. That is, surely sounds uh, worth waiting a whole month for. I can't want to defend the fan base. <laughs> True. Now I'm in, I'm in my, I'm in my own bubble here on stream. I can say what I want. My own filter bubble.
Alright. Nito. What were we even doing? I think it was the NA Cup. I totally forgot. <laughs> totally forgot. Yeah, the, the NA Sports Cup. There we go. Alright. Let's see what we get now. Once again, if it's a concept car, it's over. If it's a concept car, we're done. We are done if it's a concept car. And it is... <laughs> okay. I want to clarify something before the chat explodes, okay? This is not a landmine. We clarified this in the beginning of the stream if you weren't here. This is not a landmine. One of the one of the one of the landmines is that we get the cover car. This is not the cover car. Because it isn't the LM Spec 2 or whatever it's called. It's just the normal 4 GT. So we don't count this as the cover car. I just wanna say that right off the bat. Is it anything else though? I don't think so. I'm not sure it is. Yeah, it's the same Vogt the same color that, uh, that I used in the Beast Bag run, which is kind of nice. Fitting regional event. We weren't doing a regional event. <laughs> We could do one make races and regional events in, in hopes of filling these two out here. But I don't think this is anything. Unfortunately, it's once again a bit of a nothing burger. Cool car though. Cool car. Hey, sure this thing has 800 horsepower. Are you, are you sure about that? If not even the panels I was driving had 800. Are you sure about that? <laughs> It's a cool car though. Honestly, so far I feel like we've only gotten decent cars. We haven't had a single shitbox yet. This is actually a good seat. Honestly speaking. Okay. What should we do next? We still have a few beginner events that we can do, maybe. Like, what could we do here? The FF challenge? Maybe the will? Is it FF? Wait, hold on. Isn't, isn't, it, isn't it 40 TMR or am I tripping? Isn't it? It is, okay, then we do it. Then let's do the AMR Cup with this one. I think it was good then. Okay. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> then I'm glad I got it. We got a decent MR Cup because this thing is probably gonna clip it as well. Which is cool. Neat, neat, neat. So... I'm glad that I learned to just uh, turn off the assists every time I get into a car here. Okay. I mean, we can also use the will for FF, right? Uh, yeah, honestly, it would, it would probably do okay. I, I might have to add some upgrades, but it might do okay. If we, if we really want to do that one. But I think the MR is just more more safe. Right now. Alright. Let's go. It's a really cool color for this car, by the way. Purple and white stripes. Out of my way. Oh, the grip is not there anymore, unfortunately, from earlier <laughs> that we had on the panels. Call it blurple. Yeah, it's true. It's more, it's more blue leaning purple. It looks like plum, right? I think bl plum is a, it's a fair description. Oh, 
man. We got we got pock cars all throughout today, man. Seriously. Honestly, don't have much room to complain. Shit. You have to you have to get used to the to this car just having less grip than the uh, panos. Ah, fuck. But it should be quick. It should be real quick, since it's still beginner events, the races aren't too long. And with the 4 GT, it's as good as done and dusted. I can really see the understeer the moment I uh, I hit the gas in the corner. It's like, oh, there goes the steering. It's like a fucking front wheel driver, man. Yeah, we're on, we're on a god seat. This is uh, the bingo. The name bingo is a god seat. We found a second one, Chad. <laughs> like my my uh, online name and now bingo. Those are those are two god seats. Can already say that much. A monkey? Get some rest, man. If something POC happens and I scare you with my reaction, uh, I take no blame. Stream will end after two bingos, cause second bingo stream. I mean, I guess, I guess so. We could just go for more bingos in general. Hey, New York. Go for a full house. Yeah, let's just, let's just try to fill up the entire fucking bingo sheet. Cross out every single tile. <laughs> I honestly don't even think that's possible unless you unless you have an absolute like a, a seed where you just get everything, you know. I got rid of the channel point text to speech because people were abusing it to spam. And uh, it was just not fun anymore. It was just way too much abuse. 
Ich habe gar keine Erinnerung auf der Uhr. That was way too late. Punk. Damn it, man. Brakes on this on this Ford GT aren't that good. Or at least not as good as I'd expect them to be. Hey, Dove. Cheers for the raid, man. I was hanging, hope you had fun. So we are currently back on the um, GT4 randomizer on a new seat. And we are trying to get a uh, bingo on a bingo sheet that we've made. And we're really fucking close to getting it already. Because this is once again like such a god seat. Like once again, we're on, we're on such a damn god seat. They just gave us so many, uh, not just good cars, but also cars that uh, made us tick off a lot of tiles. So literally the only thing we need right now is a concept car and we got a bingo. And concept cars are really not that rare in this game. So yeah, we're fairly close to beating it already. And yeah, we also have a few extra uh, incentives for landmines. So basically, when very specific things happen, I drop 10 gift subs. So far, you haven't gotten lucky though. Shed has not gotten lucky. No landmines have been triggered yet. But I guess I can just quickly show you. For the raiders. So that's what our bingo sheet looks like right now. You can already see that we got the we got a diagonal line going here, with which we only need the uh, uh, concept car for. We already got a car um, from a uh, an OP car from a short or easy race. Uh, we got a car that's le worth less than five thousand credits. We got a car that's worth more than five hundred thousand credits. Uh, we got a car with more than thirty characters in its name. Like we had a impressive with a really long name. And we got a car from every uh, major region, so EU, US, and Japan. We got that one really quickly. And then here are the landmines. We haven't gotten any of them yet, thankfully. And I, I hope we, we, I hope we get to keep it that way. But that's that's currently what it's looking like. So yeah, this could be over. This could be over after any race. Uh, Flo just pinked the sheet again if you want to look at it a little bit closer and read all the tiles. So uh, any any championship could be the last one. Because we really only need a concept car. <laughs> and then it's over, the run is done. And I really did not expect that we'd get there this fast. I actually thought we would do a whole bunch of events without crossing anything off the bingo sheet. But who knows, maybe, maybe for whatever reason it's not gonna take us ages to get to a concept car. Who knows.
And yeah, the Ford GT we're driving right now isn't even the fastest car that we have at the moment. But we, we both we now both have cars that can beat the supercar championship and the GT World Championship. Like we can we can beat the two hardest events in the professional league. And theoretically, if we get everything else that we need, aka a sports car and a K car, um, we can actually we, we could theoretically even finish this. Like finish the game. But that's obviously not the goal right now. The goal is getting a a bingo. I think it's super doable with the panels. It's gonna be tricky. It's not gonna be easy. But I think it it felt doable to me. Like the car was already really fast without upgrades and sports tires. I I don't think it's gonna be that big of an issue. I'm not gonna sh Ugh, come on guys. I'm not gonna like show the garage every single time people leave, man. You can go back in the in the stream and just check the what if you want to, or just wait. I'm not gonna babysit everyone that decides to leave the stream and then wants to know what happened. Come on, guys. Yeah, my challenge going well. Last one, Air Capitan. Once again, once again, it could be the last race. It could be the last race. <laughs> uh. Before I get a Dutch car. How many Dutch cars are even in this game? One. Just a spiker? Why didn't we just make it a landmine then? <laughs> why Why didn't we make it a landmine then? If it's just one car, I thought there would be at least like a couple others. Like with Australian cars. Or Korean. No, never mind. Uh, for a second I thought the Lexus was Korean, but uh... No, that one was exclusive to the Korean version of the game. So I got kind of confused there. We're still good. Yeah, should have, we should have combined it into one tile, yeah. Like, get a, get a rare... ...nationality or whatever. I mean, we can still make some optimizations to the, to the bingo sheet. We can change stuff around if we need to. Like if the if the if we're not gonna finish the uh, bingo sheet in the next 50 minutes, I'll call it for today. And when we come back to this bingo sheet, we'll, next time we start, we're gonna make some adjustments. I think. So we're just gonna combine um, Dutch, Australian, and Korean into one, and then fill up the two spaces with something else. I think that would make the most amount of sense. Damn. Too late again.
Nibu, thanks for the useless info, man. Do you know a sack of rice fell over in China yesterday? Gutted, absolutely gutted by the nose too, man. All right, there we go. Was this the last race or not, Chad? It could be. Honestly, like once again, getting a concept car is not that unlikely. There's quite a few in this game. So let's see. Let's see what it'll be this time. Anticipation. And... Ah, okay. This would also be enough, like, once again, this is enough characters uh, to do the uh, 30 character thing. <laughs> like, this is, this is definitely more than 30 characters, once again. Fucking Subaru, man. Why, why do Subaru cars have such long names? I don't get it. I think, I think we had the idea of making um, God a Wagon um, a tile, but we didn't. I think that would have been a better tile than some of the other ones we had. But I think, is this, I don't think it's anything. It's not the same car, no. It's not the same one. See? So we should, for next time we should probably optimize the um, bingo sheet a little bit. So we're gonna combine all the rare manufacturers together. Um, and then we add maybe something like a, get a wagon or whatever. GT4 entry requirements randomizer, that's actually interesting. Not sure if that's doable, but that sounds, that sounds pretty fun actually. Okay, what should we do next? We could do the supercar festival, but we have to get licenses. I think honestly we should do the next license chat. We're gonna run out of uh, we're gonna run out of, out of events to do eventually. So I think we I think we should do the next license. So let's do the next license. Exactly, I need an A license. I need I need all the licenses eventually, and to be honest, licenses is also a good way to get prize cars. So why not? I'm not sure if I want to go for all silvers again, though. Once again, I think I I think I decide that based on how many silvers I missed. This one just barely got it this time here. Jesus. Price car and opponent. I, I honestly don't think an opponent car randomizer is fun. Because it's just gonna be a bunch of unbalanced races that you'll probably have to restart a bunch of times to even be able to beat. I honestly don't think it's that fun. Like it sounds fun on paper, but I think in practice it's gonna be really frustrating and just kinda annoying. I felt much better. If you buy a car, it's randomized as well. <laughs> so you basically get scammed. <laughs> a scam miser, you could call it. Scam miser. That one is so easy to get gold on, I swear to god. Easiest fucking game of my life. Lamborghini game? No, I never heard of it.
Can't say I heard of it before. I know there's a, like um, a lot of manufacturer racing games that Dove is covering currently. Dude, what is wrong with me, dude? What's wrong with my head? What's up with my hands, dude? All of a sudden, I, I, I grew competent hands, dude. Holy shit. If you speed run where if you make a racy car, you restart? Okay, so I just don't build a racy car and we never restart. I don't get it. I had a, I had a fun idea today that I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to, uh, to do at some point. I'm not gonna leak it yet, but all I'll say is it would involve a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'll say. It, it would involve a doctor. Uh, like an ER doctor, I guess. Not gonna revolve, uh, you know, not gonna, not gonna talk about it further, but yeah. So if you know any, any doctors, uh, or if you are a doctor, hit me up. No, not like an actual licensed doctor. Preferably ER, but doesn't have to be. That actually felt really good. Wasn't good enough for gold, but damn was it close. I think I had such a good lap here before. Would students be okay? I think so, yeah. I mean, it would be f more fun, I guess, if it was an actual doctor. But yeah, it's nothing dangerous. I, I think I made that sound like it, it, it's something dangerous. It's not. It's nothing dangerous. Like I don't need like uh, medical supervision for it. It's, that's not really. It's not really. <laughs> That's not really my point. <laughs> That's not what I had in mind. Dude, what is going on with me, man? I'm just getting one gold after the other. Without even trying that hard. I guess this is what it means to be good at video games. Shit. That was really close. I haven't even gotten a single bronze yet, man. Okay, this one's tough. Man, uh, the new sound they gave to the RX-8 is really nice. Now nah, we're not doing coffee breaks this time. I uh, refuse. The songs from Yakuza, man, there's too many to list. I'll occasionally play a couple doing streams. Oh, so close, dude! <laughs> dude, I'm on a roll, man. What is going on? I don't think I don't think I was ever this much on a roll on these tests. We actually followed everything in the guide. Um, you would not have. Pixels at the bottom of the screen. It says specific settings so you don't get those. You still get them in the menu, you just can't get rid of them. But in the race, you shouldn't get them.
Did I finish the Yakuza series? Uh, yeah, I did, so far. I finished all the mainline entries. I am a real gamer. In fact, not a fake one. Right now I'm just waiting on a good sale for the Judgment games. Wow, that actually didn't fail me, jeez. You expect a goal time here. Alright, Mr. Expectations. Honestly, this one's tough. At least I have a tough in mind. I, I fail here a lot. This thing is understay heaven, man. See those magic hands. Honestly, I think so far it was a fairly solid lap. Not sure if it's gold material, but it felt solid. Should at least be a silver. I mean, there's a huge gap between silver and bronze, so I, I guess... Getting silver is kind of... Kind of a given. Let's see how it is. My birthday, November 2nd, 1999. Especially this year. It's really easy to overshoot, overshoot this. And also very easy to hit the fucking pace car here. Yeah, just barely is just barely scratched the curve to be a 90s kid. <laughs> Precisely. Nope. Wow, I'm actually really surprised it didn't fail me there. I could have actually saved it, but I kind of gave up already. Oh, that was perfect. That was just the right amount of speed. Okay, I feel very confident that this is a gold. If this isn't a gold, I am going to be very surprised. Because I have no idea how I could have driven this better. Fucking easy, dude. Two whole seconds ahead almost jesus i don't think i've ever done a faster lap there god damn this one is cancer though I'm still really close to go what is going on man so close to gold. Okay, this one's cancer. Especially you have to quickly switch your brain to rally physics, which is not easy. Oh, well, shit. Uh, that could have been a goal if I didn't fuck up the end there. Fucking damn it, there we go. Ah! My beloved. Don't we all have great memories of this license test chat? Nothing but fun memories. I see absolutely nothing wrong with this test, chat. Felt like an okay attempt though. It was okay. Should be bron- uh, brr. Silver. I haven't gotten a single bronze yet, man. 
Oh, I hate this one. This one, this one's probably my least favorite still. This one is so awkward. I don't like this one at all. Car handles like absolute dog water and the section is so iffy, man. This one I'm seriously not a fan of. Let's do that again. Especially the run up here takes forever, dude. That's how you get fast licenses, right? Initial D taught me drift equals fast. Oh, I hate this so much. The car is so bad, honestly, and, and this track, like, this part of the track. It feels so awkward. Like, the timing might not be as tight here. But just doing this fast is, is already challenging enough. I was actually really close to gold. Once again, may have been the fastest I've ever done that. Fuck, I clipped it. I think I'll do a safe set here though. I don't think it was that slow. Could have been better, but should be enough for bronze. Uh, bronze. Silver. Especially if I do the rest well. AK, not like this. Alright, let's see how we did. Hold up a minute. Ah, so close to gold still. Okay, I actually didn't expect to be that close to gold. I think the first half was not good. The first half was not good. I, I would have been extremely surprised if that was still a gold despite all my mistakes. All right, last one. Man, I hate when the run-up is that long, dude. Yeah, if it didn't clip the wall, then it would have been a gold, yeah. And it was still not a perfect lap. Far from it, actually. Good. Deja vu, let's go. <laughs> Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. If that's still a silver despite the drift, that's gonna be really funny. <laughs> Who needs a gold when you can just do a silver with style? Alright. And we did. 
Dude, we, we clutched that out so well, man. That was that was an easy license. We, we don't actually have to redo anything. Didn't get a single bronze. Oh, I guess I just restarted immediately if I if I had a bronze here or there. Alright, the coolio. Ah. So let's get that license. But more importantly, the uh, price car. Concept car? Okay, it's not a concept car, it's a Clio. I don't think this is anything though. Yeah, we've already done the characters. We've already done the characters. But looking, looking at the bingo sheet again... I don't think this is anything. We really, we really have to combine these three here. Or these four actually. And we have to combine the, the four with the nationalities and, and then just add three new, three new ones. But I don't think this counts as anything. Unfortunately. So no progress on that front, but... We have one more car. One more for all silvers. It's another Im fucking Impreza, dude. Dude, at this at this rate, this is our third Impreza now. We're gonna we're gonna get this here. Seven cars of the same brand. In fact, it might actually be seven Imprezas, not just Subarus, but seven Imprezas at this fucking rate. We're already almost halfway there, man. <laughs> Almost halfway there already. Alright. Was that worth it? I don't know. In terms of the bingo sheets, not really. But we need, the, we, need, we need the license anyways. So what do we continue with? We could do the FF Cup in the first car that we won. I guess. Oh, we do, we do special condition. Yeah, honestly, it's a special condition. That's the special condition. In fact, let's start with the ones that only take one race. Actually, we need another license for these. Never mind. We need we need international. Ah, oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We don't. Never mind. I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay. Well done. Uh, let's go. Tires? Lol. What do you mean tires? <laughs> Time to rename landmine to blown head casket. <laughs> I mean, we could have added a landmine for getting like five cars or seven of the same model line, right? Like seven skylines or seven impressors. In that case, we would already be fairly close to hitting it. Stop. I can uh, say the uh, floor is certainly wet. Skull issue. Hey, what's wrong with my head, dude? Slicks on a wet surface. It's sports tires, not racing tires, okay? So we're actually perfectly fine. We're not on slicks. But yes, the traction control is permanently on. No matter how fast I go. See? <laughs> still blinking. Third gear, still flashing. 
Pod gear is still flashing. <laughs> and yeah, we have the, we haven't set the one. It's not that strong. All right, let's see. Easy, is this is probably the easiest price cut to get, honestly. It's literally just like one race, two laps. It's not even a long track. So let's see. What shall it be? Oh, 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 hey, 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 we got one, we got one, now we got one, Chad. Now we got one. A JGTC car, we finally got one, Chad. We got one, finally. <laughs> we got one. Poggers. I don't think this is anything else, though. It's, it's cool. I, I don't remember this. Zanavi? Who's Zanavi? Nice. It's now 34, yeah. So we're one step closer to having every gen of... Uh, <laughs> Skylines. <laughs> Unless they switch to it. Actually... Yeah, let's switch to it. Because I've never driven this thing before. Let's rock it for some special condition events. Sanavi is a company that make navigation systems for Nissan. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That looks interesting. I've never seen it before. So what should we do next? Guess we can just do this. George? What do you want me to do George? I mean, I guess we could. I guess we could. Let's see how good it is. It's fast. <laughs> it is fast. George's shorter track? Yeah, but I don't think it's faster. Like, I don't think it takes less time to complete because it's generally slower. Now, like, here you're basically speeding almost all the time. Amafi is definitely longer. But in a fast car, I think this might take you less time. Okay, didn't get a penalty yet. No, I did. <laughs> that didn't take long. Especially, I think this one still has racing tires on. So honestly, going with this car instead of the Panos was probably a good idea. Could have obviously put the racing tires back on the Panos. Oh, you know what? We drove the Panos a lot. I still find it extremely impressive that we haven't had a single bad car yet. 
by the way. The weather I would just consider mediocre. It's not terrible. It's just kind of whatever. <clears throat> but so far we've only gotten pretty good cars for the most part. And I think that's <laughs> really impressive. Get a shitbox. I mean, we have something like that. But we have a tile for getting a car with less than 80 horsepower. Uh, it's probably uh, good enough. Because then, when, when you just write shitbox, then you open Pandora's box with, okay, well, what actually could, you know, what actually counts as a shitbox and what doesn't. And you're gonna have people arguing, oh, this is a shitbox, or no, this is not a shitbox, you know. There's just, there's too much room for interpretation. That's also something I wanted to. Uh, prevent with the um, with the tiles that there's a lot of room for interpretation I just wanted it to be like fairly clear stuff you know get a car that has this or get, get a car that's this something of that kind GG's Okay, now, uh, now we do it in uh, reverse. <laughs> it's really hard to overtake in reverse in the beginning. It's, it's really difficult to overtake him. Yeah, this car's a shitbox, obviously. Hey, let's do the funny again, by the way. <laughs> Last time we did that in the R8 was a lot, a lot more fun, though. With nitrous and everything. We flew up until here, man. That's where we landed. Now, for whatever reason, looking at it from this camera and just the front of the car, it kind of reminds me of a rally car. And for whatever reason, you could probably fool me into thinking this is some kind of Subaru or Ford rally car. It's just the colors of the of the livery that really remind me of something like that. Ow. I'm not sure if I like this track more in reverse or in uh, the regular direction. To be honest. I think maybe in reverse actually. There's a few nasty uh, sections here and there. But I think generally I like it more in reverse.
All right, there we go. Done it, dusted. There we go, almost got 100k crits. Okay, what shall it be this time? Once again, every card could be the last one. Okay, just a regular basic SRX7. <laughs> That's not too exciting. And I don't think this is anything either. Yeah, it's red. Pog. Cool. <laughs> Once again, it's not a bad car. It's just kind of like, okay, you know, it's nice. Yeah, that could have been a tile. True. Rotary. Come with the rotary engine. That could have been a tile. You're right. Yeah, we, we're definitely gonna overhaul the bingo sheet for next time. Okay, what should we do next? Let's do, let's do George. Let's go, let's go to George. I'd say. Ah. And then we can see if this actually takes more or less time. I don't think it does. Because it's generally just slower here. Don't pass me! Can you use the skeleton as a one maker race? Yeah, we have a lot of cars that we can or use for one make races. But this one, this one might be very dominant. Ouch. Somebody managed to crash even more here. Yeah, I, I recall that one taking a while, yeah. Yeah, but that's true. Like, we also have a tile for getting a shit car from a long event or hard event. So that's still on the table. It's still worth doing, you know, for that reason alone. <laughs> and then we're gonna be celebrating over a shitbox. <laughs> we, we could be celebrating over a shitbox. Because that's another tile. <laughs> Fucking penalties, man. Shitbox and concept. The thing is, shitbox once again, it's not on the on the sheet. We we added a tile specifically for car with less than 80 horsepower. Fuck me dead, dude. For that reason, because we don't want to leave room for interpretation. Otherwise you guys are gonna start fighting. Got shitbox from a long hard race. Okay, you got me there. But the thing is with that, it's, there isn't really much room for interpretation. Well, not as much. Like if I do an endurance race and the game gives me like... Even if it's like a golf, you know? I think we can just generally agree, okay, that was... Bullshit, you know? Even though... <laughs> even though a golf isn't technically a shitbox, right? Yeah, exactly. It's more about it not being worth the effort. That's more what it's about. 
But yeah, you're right, I, I could have wanted that better. I think it's since the tiles are that small, I obviously can't write like a fucking essay in them, right? Beta bingo stream. Yeah, exactly. It's just an idea that I picked up from other creators and was like, hey, I kind of want to, you know, put my own spin on it. You know, with anything new that, I, that you try, you always learn. Yeah, the Auto Bianchi would definitely be a shitbox, man. Randomizer race? Well, that's actually a cool idea. The thing is... It takes a while to finish the game, right? It takes a while. But yeah, you could you could maybe make a randomizer race. The thing is, it's, it's just not really feasible. I guess... A good idea to make... A good way to make a randomizer race is you, you set a set time limit. A bingo race. Yeah, it's still gonna take a while. You, like, you already saw me. And I, I got really lucky, man. Like, we're four hours in, we're close to bingo, but that's... That's me getting extremely lucky. I think if we... If we're talking about randomizer races... I think the best way to do it... Would be... To set a time limit, like four hours, let's say. And whoever... Whoever completes more races in that four hour time frame wins. Right? I think that's the most reasonable way to structure a uh, um, a race. And I wouldn't do the same seat at that point. Because then, then everyone just does the same thing. I would go with different seats. I think that kind of makes it more fun. Uh, or compare completion percentage. Yeah, that would, that would work too, I guess. Alright, let's go. Another price come. Let's see, let's see what it is. Yeah, it is, it is a long game, so yeah, I, I think working with a time limit is probably better. Doing as much as you can within, within a certain time frame. So. Concept. Come on, concept. Let me end the stream. Let me end the stream, come on. No, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't cool. That's not even worth the, that's not even worth the celebrity mu uh, celebratory music. <laughs> we could have added a tile for like, get X amount of cars in the same color, right? Since we already have like two or three red cars now. That's something we could have done. Right, maybe we want to count this as red too. Uh, although it's, it's primarily white. Not really. But yeah, I think we'll leave it f here for today, though. We're gonna we're gonna complete the bingo sheet at some point, surely. We didn't hit any landmines today. We didn't hit any landmines, so that's nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, but before we start uh, the next stream, the next bingo uh, bingo stream, we're probably gonna overhaul this a little bit, right? Like we're gonna we're gonna summarize Korean, Dutch, Australian, and Swedish car into just one tile, and then just add three new ones. Maybe we're also gonna like specify these here right we'll see we're gonna make some adjustments for next time I mean, we're so close man like uh, tomorrow's str if i stream tomorrow tomorrow's stream could literally just be one event one single event we get a concept car and we're done i end the stream <laughs> could be could be a literal 20 minute stream if any, if anything <laughs> but yeah, until then hope to see you then take care take it easy and as always peace see you guys